In this video, I want to demo to you the Voyager admin package for Laravel. And using the Voyager admin package, you can easily have a CRUD or bread system, which is browse, read, edit, add, and delete. You can have all this functionality with any of your tables or any of your models. So let me go ahead and log in and kind of just give you a quick demo. And after I log in, then I'm here at the dashboard and I can view all the users, the posts, and all the pages for my current app. So if I go over here on the left, I can see where my navigation is, where I have the dashboard, I have roles, I have users. So if I click on any of these, it will take me to where it shows all the users. I can then add a new user or edit a user. And then if I go down here, we actually have a built-in media manager. So I can go ahead and upload files if I want to, add a folder, move files, or rename files. Then if I go back down here, I can go to posts, and this is just a default data type that's installed with Voyager. Uh, but you can remove the posts, or you can remove the pages, or the categories. So where the real magic comes in is that you can add a database table in Voyager and specify where the model is, and if you want to have CRUD or BREAD operations, which is browse, read, edit, add, and delete for that specific model. So let me go ahead and show you. If I go down here to database, and then I can go ahead and click on create new table. So let's say that I wanted to have maybe a products table. And I can say yes, go ahead and create the model for me. And then down here I could maybe have a name and this will be a string. And I can add a new field and maybe we want this to be the image for the product. And then I can go ahead and add timestamps right here. And then I can say create new table. So then if I go back down here I can see now that we have this products table and I can click to view what the current table looks like. Then I can also go back if I wanted to and I could edit the table or I could delete the table. And what I could also do is I could add bread to this table. So I could add some browse, read, edit, add, and delete views for this specific table. So I could then go down here and I have this form builder. So I can say that I want the name to be a text box and the image, I actually want this to be an image. And then the created at, I can go ahead and just, I only want to see this on browse and read and then delete doesn't matter whether we have that or not. And as you can see, then we have the display name over here. So I can say name of product. And then I could say image for product right here. And then over here on the right, we can have some additional details that will be in more advanced videos that I'll show you, such as image cropping or image resizing. So then I can come back down here and fill out the rest of the information for this table. So I can then say that I want the URL slug to be products. And then I can go ahead and specify the display name, which is just going to be product, products. And then I can use an icon right here. If I was on this Voyager font class, it will take me to another page that will show me all the fonts that I can use in the admin section. So let's say for this one, maybe we want a shopping bag. So I'll say Voyager bag. Okay, and then I can go ahead and add that icon right here. And the model name, we had one created for us, and I think it's app slash products. And I can go ahead and click on submit. So then now over here, we don't have any products over here on the left. And that's because we need to go to the menu builder. So inside of the menu builder, this is where you can add menus to the front end of your site or even the back end of your site. So as you can see, we have the admin menu and we have the main menu. So I can go ahead and click here to go to the builder for the admin. And I can say that I want to add a new menu item. And I want this to be products. And this is going to live at admin slash and then the slug that we gave it. So the slug that we gave it was products. And then my icon was Voyager dash bag. And then you don't have to have a color if you don't want to. This is just an optional field that you can have on the front end of your site to have a color represent that menu item. So then we want to open in the same window and I can click on add new item. Then I can move this up to the top if I wanted to. So maybe I want this to be below users. So I go like that and I need to go ahead and reload and now you can see that we have products over here on the left. Now if I click on products, then you can see that we don't have any current products, but I can go ahead and add a new product if I would like. So the name of the product, uh, let's just go ahead and say maybe Apple Watch 2. And how about I just go to images.google.com and I will search for Apple Watch 2. I'll just use this one right here. I'm just going to save this image. I'll save it on the desktop. And then now if I go back over here, I can then upload the image. So I can find it on my desktop, click on the Apple Watch, and then go ahead and submit. And now we have the Apple Watch 2, and we also have an image. And then we can just use the front end to display all of our products, 
and maybe we want to have some more fields, maybe we want to have reviews and other things on there. But that was just a simple example about how you can use the database builder and the bread system in Voyager. So now that you've seen a demo of what Voyager can do, I'll kind of run through how you can easily install the Voyager admin package for your Laravel app. So if we go ahead and go to github.com slash the control group slash Voyager, this is where the repo lives. And if we scroll down, we have install instructions right here. So first we need to install a new Laravel app. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to my sites and projects folder, and I'm just going to create a new Laravel app and just call this Voyager. And after we've installed a blank Laravel app, then we can CD into that folder. And now I'll want to go to the GitHub page. And if I scroll down, it says that we want to composer require TCG slash Voyager. So let's go ahead and do that. And after those dependencies have been installed, then I can go back to the GitHub page. And it says that we need to add our database credentials. So I'll need to open up this project. And I go to my .env file. And I have a database at localhost. And in my case, I just named this Voyager. And my username and password are both root. So if I save that and I go back to the GitHub page, then it says that we need to include a couple classes in our providers array. So this is inside of our config app.php. And then we can scroll down and find our providers array. And I can go ahead and paste those at the very bottom. And then going back to the GitHub page, it says the last step that we need to do is run php artisan voyager install. So let's go ahead and run that command. After that is completed, then let's go ahead and run PHP Artisan serve. And then we have a localhost at localhost 8000. So let's go ahead and go there. So localhost 8000. And now we have a default Laravel app, which has the authentication, which is the login and register. So this just comes by default with the Laravel authentication scaffolding. So we already have a front end login and register system. But now with Voyager, we also have a full admin section. So now we can just go to slash admin and then we can log in with the Default login is admin at admin.com and password. So with a few commands, we were able to easily install the Voyager admin package that now you can modify users, posts, pages, categories, and you can add all of your own custom data types. You can use the bread builder to create these browse, read, edit, add, and delete views. And you just have so much power with the Voyager admin package. So I hope you will check out this repo and I hope you will download it. Maybe put in some pull requests, and if you have any issues, then let me know on GitHub as well. Thanks again, and I will talk to you in a future video.